Auger shots. It's a shot that many amateurs are scared of, but you watch the professionals play it, and really that they look like they'd rather be in the sand than on the grass, or in, certainly in some rough. It's a lot to do with their understanding of the technique. Now, it starts with a good setup position. Take advantage when, when you're in the practice bunker of drawing some lines in the sand. A parallel line, a ball to target line, so a straight line in front of the ball pointing at your target. Continue that line afterwards. A line parallel to this to give you awareness of where your body alignment is. And another line showing uh, well 90 degrees to this to give you awareness of where your ball is situated relative to your body. Great way to ensure that you're in the correct setup position. Now I want you to set up square to the target, yes, not open. It's a big mistake when people stand open, swinging across the ball. It's very difficult to control your distance. Also, when the ball hits the green, it tends to land and jump to the right. We want the ball to hit the green and check or release straight like a putt. I want you to take, so square set up, I want you to take now a little bit of a bigger stance than normal. That's going to help lower your center of gravity. So big stance and lower yourself further. That's very important to being able to hit the sand in front of the ball and take that shallow cut of sand under the ball using the bounce of the club to gain some control over the shot. Pete Cowan, one of the great coaches these days, recommends that you turn your left foot open and point your left knee towards your left toe. This will give you the feeling of being a little more left-sided, maybe 60-40, and it'll help us later on when we're trying to hit a shot and being able to rotate through the shot rather than slide through the shot. And very important in that key of being able to use the bounce. You're going to hear me say that a lot. Using the bounce in bunkers is a real key to being a good bunker player. So now we're set up, we're parallel to the target. A little bigger stance, nice and low. I want you to situate the ball towards your left heel and open the club face slightly. How much you open the club face will depend upon what shot you're trying to hit, but as a standard, a little bit open. So now we're in this position, we're, we're really ready to hit a, a good bunker shot. The key to hitting a good bunker shot now is maintaining this loft on the club and maintaining this bounce. You see, when I open the, the club, I increase the bounce, and that's what we want to do. We want to hit the sand with the bottom of the club, this flange at the back, not the leading edge. So I'm going to maintain the loft on the club and maintain the bounce. I dropped the club even on my backswing, you could see that club face would still be open and the flange of the club would be making contact with the sand. So I maintain the loft and the bounce in the backswing and I shallow backswing. Real, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is reducing the bounce and getting the club steep on the backswing. Almost impossible to take that shallow cut of sand, gaining some control on the ball, also getting that nice high, fl high flighting shot because the club face is, you've closed, you've reduced the loft. So maintain the loft and the bounce. We're going to now rotate into impact. Maintaining again that loft and bounce. We're going to release the club with your right wrist. You'll feel that your right wrist is working more underneath your left wrist as you're rotating through the impact. That's using the bounce. And now through to the finish. Again, maintaining that loft and the bounce. I showed you my finished position. The right palm is pointing towards my body. And again, if I drop the club into the sand, the club face would be open and the flange of the club would be hitting the sand. So here we go. Good setup. Basically rotating and maintaining the loft and the bounce throughout the shot. Hopefully you could see I maintained that low center of gravity throughout the shot as well. So bunker shots, maybe when you know the technique, maybe when you know how, it might not be something to be scared of. You might enjoy getting into a bunker. It's one of the most enjoyable parts of the game to practice. You've got so many different situations. But become a master of this shot first. A short bunker shot, maybe 10 to 15 meters with a regular lie. Learn to control the flight and the spin of this shot first, then move on to the different shots.